night going mats. Um, well, one of my fish went today, the Palachina that I've been holding for someone for the last three or four months, so that was picked up today. And a real nice guy came with his wife and uh, we had a good chat. Shame we didn't have a bit more time. We had He'd come a long way and we both had quite a bit on today, but uh, yeah, that one's gone, so there's only 12 in here now. So, yeah, happy days. Um, you see the bag of JPD all season there. Reason being, I think the temps are getting a little bit too low for the shorey. It's back on 18 today, but I'm getting, I've been getting 16 nines, early 17s, which is not ideal for the shogun. So I'm going to put some shogun into the feeder um, and get, get them back on that. It's just not as warm as I was hoping it would be. We, we need a real good month, really. I mean, we had a lovely June, didn't we? But July was crap, and this month, so far, he's not proven to be any better. So yeah, I'm gonna go on to that, only just to get, I got it, been on about it for a while, I got this bit of protein and uh, it's, it's only because the shorey is a bit of waste with it. It's high in protein, high in fat, so. I've altered obviously my food in there now so I've gone back to the shogun. Temps have been up and down but shogun's in there now anyway. Um, I'm using the shori now on my grub one. So I've got my feeder set for six times a day. So what I'm gonna do now because ideally when the fish are feeding, you should let out enough food from the graze for about five minutes on it. And what I'm finding is happening, obviously I got so much air and things that the food, if I put too much in, it goes down and gets sucked in by the skimmer. You can see the protein on that now again. Um, but what I want to do, I'm just pulling out these little plugs which I've got timers on and I'm gonna turn my air off and my shower about five minutes before the feeder goes off and I'm gonna leave them off then for about 10 or 15 minutes just to let the fish graze because at the moment they're fighting for the food they're pushing it down there and, and I'm finding a lot of it's in the skimmer which obviously it's it's a waste for one and the fish are not having all the proper feed so that's what i'm going to do and i'm going to see if it makes any difference then so without further ado i'm going to get them on there um yeah see the foam that i'm getting i just lift it out i need two hands to do it but i just take that off and then it'll pull more in you only tend to get it early in the morning and then it goes, but I got so much air off that. I got an air bar there, and it's absolutely awesome. I mean, you can see it moving on the top, but that's under the water, and it's really powerful. So, as soon as that kicks in, it's generating this froth. There you are, both of these are set up identical now. So, um, like I say, they should come on pretty much the smack on the same time so um, what I've done I've put them out for three blocks so as you can see on the first one there look so my first feed is 7am um, and then I've got it and both off them for half hour and then my next one's 9, 12, 3, 6 and the last one 9 o'clock in the night um, I do sometimes feed in between that as well. I may give them a little bit myself because 
know what it's like. It's nice to watch them feed, um, give them a bit of mealworm or a bit of fruit or something as well. So, but yeah, I'm going to put them on now and away with a mixer. I hope. Not the Mokies again today. He's fairly low on stock now. He's done pretty well this year. He's got rid of most of his fish. There's only a couple left. A couple of Dainichi Kanaku left. So one's in there. I'm going to be having this Pilgrim ring Sankey there. It's a lovely snow wasabi in there which is sold with one of my boys Dean. He's having that shortly. And there's a lovely chai in there. That one's sold as well. ones in there. Right, these are the last three uh, Dainichi Kohaku now that are for sale. So if anyone's interested, let me know and I'll put you in touch with uh, Yuroki. There they go. Picking up today. Just me measured in at 42 cm. I assume he's like ink on the side of that. So dark. It's more to come through as well on the back. Yeah, so she's there. Uh, Pearl Gin Ring Sankey. Phone doesn't do the Pearl Gin Ring justice. When you're actually looking at it, it's like um, it's like popped pops all over the fish, all down the back. Absolutely stunning. But when I'm looking in the phone, the lowest 4G is not uh, quite picking it up. So yeah, so we're going to get home and uh, going to get him in. Guys, just back from Oki's. Um, it was my birthday the other day and he's given me a present. He's given me some of this fock. So I'm going to use that in the grow on. So I'll be trying that a little bit later. But for now, let's get the fish out. Let's get him floating. And uh, that's all what we got. And guys, just finishing off opening the tea. Let me just turn that off a second so you can, you can hear me. Um, so, what I've done, I've put an air stone in here now. So, as you can see, it sits about halfway up depth wise. It's putting a nice flow across. So, I'm not getting all the, the bit of scum off the food so that's working really well the feed has just gone off it's pushed the food down that way they're a little bit spooked that i'm here a minute so they're sitting quite low i don't know why i've come in here i've put the light on it is in the evening and i think it's uh, spooked them a little But yeah, so that's what I've done. It's working really well. Um, 
So yeah, away with the mixer with that one. Well happy with it. Got the covers on here now. Knee goes in and put an handful in. I think I mentioned it before. I put an handful of this bucket in every day now. Um, it's looking really good. I'm well impressed with how this is cleaning as well. It's pulling some muck. And the clean hardly takes any time at all. And if I do a second boil, she's bloody pretty much spotless. So, well, I'll be sitting at 24 and a half there. Let's get the pump back on. There we go. So, yeah, guys, uh, only a short one, like you say. It, um, Picking up that new fish, I hope you like that one. Um, I really like it. Pearl gin ring um, absolutely pops. Photos or the videos, although this is in 4K, don't do it justice. You, you need to see them. Absolutely awesome. Um, very difficult to get hold of at the moment, so. These bad boys are still hiding. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to end it for now, guys. So, thanks for watching this one. And uh, all the best for now.